Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and I am back with the noobs guide for Bloodborne. In our last episode, we fought the first two bosses and we also went and talked to some of the NPCs. Now, there was an NPC I forgot to talk to that I needed to talk to. It's the guy at Central Yarnum's lamp. He's in the window. If you talk to him, he'll give you the flame sprayer. So go and do that if you missed it because later on, we're going to go back and talk to him again. And some special stuff is going to happen, so you really do want to go ahead and talk to him at certain points of the game. Alright, so, we are at Cathedral Ward right now. I'm going to go talk to this creepy monster lady, our man, or whatever this thing is. And yeah, we just got an emote, so that's cool. Here's the old woman that we saved. She's really annoying. She doesn't give you anything, so it's whatever. And if you listen to her dialogue, she's super duper mean. Alright, now these guys are by far the easiest enemies in the entire game to gun parry. You can actually gun parry these guys when they point at you. Like, I mistimed it there, but if I would have, like, shot right as he pointed at me, you can get a gun parry. It's absolutely crazy. And the timing really doesn't matter on them. You can shoot, like, right as they start swinging, right before they hit you. So, yeah, just shoot those guys, and they're really easy to gun parry. Alright, so we need to come down here. We're going to be headed down to a new area, Old Yarnum, which is a really cool area, but there's some annoying things about it. And then we will talk about that when we get down there. Anyway, let's deal with these enemies. Now, sometimes, and this is really random, so I don't even know why I'm bringing this up, but it's really funny when it happens. And if it happens to you, let me know, because I think that it is hilarious. This dog will run into that fire. It's happened to me like twice. Where I'll aggro him, and then he'll run right into the fire, and he'll kill himself. It's really hilarious. But dogs are extremely annoying, and it's always nice to see something like that happen. Alright, let's go get this guy. Oh, man, that other guy wants to be dead. Screw you, get away from me. Alright, we're gonna do another running attack. Remember, running R2 attacks are pretty freaking godly. Uh-huh, gotcha. You did. Alright, now on the right side of this church, I call everything a church here because it looks like a church, I'm sorry. But on the right side of this building, you can get a couple items. So make sure to grab these, we're getting more cocktails, we need those because we've been using them for the bosses. Anyway, you can go inside the building but don't really bother yet, we're going to go in there anyway and there is an item in there. Now this is actually important, do not run all the way up to this guy, he has a gun, so run away. And two dogs are going to come and aggro on you. So, if you stand right here, you can hit them through the wall. In fact, you can hit most enemies through the wall. Keep that in mind. So, a lot of times it's a really good strategy. But, the thing you have to remember is that if you can hit an enemy through a wall, the enemies can hit you through a wall. So, be a little careful with that. Now, we're going to juke this guy. You don't actually have to roll or dodge to avoid getting shot. If you just kind of, like, juke from one side to the other he'll probably not hit you all right let's come in here now there is something important in here we need to pull the lever there's an item but before we do that we're gonna run over here because there's an NPC over here now this guy is actually really important I believe you can co-op with him you can summon him to help you on certain boss battles but he's actually the covenant leader of a covenant called the executioners and he has his own quest line we will do that later and I will show you how to do it. Let's talk to him. You definitely want to say that you want to cooperate. And also, you should probably go ahead and listen to his dialogue. Because he'll tell you some stuff. I don't know if you need to do this or not, but I always do it just to get it out the way. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you later, buddy. Okay, now we can go pull the lever, get the item, and head down to the new area. Okay, so the lever's just right here. Let's pull this. There is an enemy down in that room. So be careful. Don't just go down there and get, like, smacked. Oh, God, I fell. Speaking of which, there he is. Ah, uh, you did. All right. Going to pick that up. We just got two knowledges, which is great. That's two more insight. Now, remember this about the insight, because I'm not too sure. Maybe one of you guys could tell me this for sure. Basically, I have heard a couple rumors from multiple people that once you have 40 insight, the game will get harder or it's going to change the game in some way. Now, I have played through this game and I have had like 55, 60, 70, 80, 99 insight. 
and I've never really noticed the difference. So let me know, is that true or not, or is that just a bunch of bullshit? Because I've heard that from at least two or three people. All right, let go. Okay, now here's the thing. If you're having trouble with this guy, you can always gun parry him. But I believe if you stand over here, you can cheese him too. Because he'll de-aggro, and as he's de-aggroing, you can come in, get some hits, and then back off if he comes at you. Okay, he's still de-aggroing. I don't know what's wrong with this dude. He's still de-aggroing. There he goes. Finally! Oh, God! Of course. Of course he had to do that. He de-aggroed for two days, and then he decided, when I go in for the jumping attack, that, uh-uh, I'm gonna grab you, and you're gonna die. But, luckily, I mean, I didn't die. Now, remember, if you get grabbed by any enemy, if you tap L1 and R1 at the same time, so you just tap it as fast as you can, you will take reduced damage. That is how it, it has always worked in a Souls game. And this isn't a Souls game, but it's made by the same people, so it's pretty much a Souls game, let's be honest. But yeah, just always do that if you get grabbed. It will save your life. Alright, let's go ahead and light the lamp. And now we are in the new area, so... There is an item over here. It's a little bit hidden, so let's grab that. And now we can actually go outside. I guess I'll heal. Now right away when you come out here, there's going to be one of those... Crystal Lizard one of these. I don't know what to call them. The three-headed guys that give you shards. Whatever you want to call them. But there is one out here. Also, there's a note on the door. It's from the NPCs in this area. They're telling you, do not come here. Now, if this guy... See how he fell? Do not immediately go after him. Grab that first, okay? That will save you a trip. And you have plenty of time to grab that and still come down here and kill him. And we're going to get a lot of shards, guys. A ton of shards so that's awesome if you have another weapon you want to upgrade to plus three go right for it maybe a gun or something all right let's kill this monster now there is something important in this area that is somewhat of a secret and i will show you what it is if you come down here you will get a hunter's torch now this is like an upgraded torch it pretty much just does more damage or something i'm not too sure but if you're using a torch in this area it's going to make certain enemies afraid of you because the enemies are afraid of fire. So I will show you that. Now there is a door here. This is for a shortcut, but that's going to be much later. So we need to go and find a ladder. And I would always recommend hopping down there first. Not only to get the torch, but to of course kill the lizard monster thing. Get the shards and also if you climb up here, you're going to get another item. So definitely always do this, unless you just don't care about getting those shards. But, I mean, I think it's like four or three shards. It's totally worth it. Alright, so now we're right back where we started. And we can actually go and fight these monsters. Now, we're coming up on the monsters that are afraid of fire. Basically, all these guys here are like werewolves. Even the ones that don't look like these guys, it is the same guys. If you look at, like, the feet and stuff, it's the same kind of monster. The difference is that they're wearing, like, clothes. And that's really it. Oh, yay, we just got a gemstone. That's awesome. But yeah, these guys are afraid of fire. They will attack you. Like, they will run up to you and try to attack you. But sometimes they'll have to back off because they're afraid. Oh, so cute. No, honestly, screw these things. But yeah, I call these, like, mini werewolves because that's what they look like. In fact, most of the enemies in the game... Well, I guess that's a pretty broad statement. But a lot of the enemies in the game, they will look like werewolves. Or at least they will always look like a beast. But this game is really all about werewolves. In fact, if you didn't know, the guy or girl that you play as is actually a beast. Like when you drank the blood in the beginning or you were given the blood transfusion, that um, corrupted your blood and I guess it gave you beast blood. So that's kind of like the story a little bit. And yeah, it's really cool. Alright, so, we're grabbing on the items. Now, there's been a rumor going around saying that you can turn into a werewolf, but I'm pretty sure that's a bunch of bullshit. Because I've been trying to figure that out. I'm like, you know, hey, if you can do that, I want to know. I want to become a werewolf. Alright, so that guy's going to talk to us. And there's some enemies here, so let them come to us. Remember, the ones that have clothes on, they are not afraid of fire. And they will also poison you. So they're much more dangerous. And there's going to be bigger versions of them, too. So, yeah. Kill that guy. Just take your sweet time. Use the fire to your advantage. And also, you can always um, 
two-handed the weapon if you want. Like, honestly, like, the fire is nice, but you don't really need it. Like, oh god. Having the, the range of this really does help. And you're gonna get a little bit more damage. Ow. You did. Alright, so, let's go ahead and grab the item. And once we come down here, this guy's gonna start shooting at us. You can see him up there. He's on the gun. You know, in fact, I want to see him shoot me because... Oh! Okay, he's not really shooting me. That thing... That Gatling gun has, like, auto-aim. Because, like, you know, it would make sense if he's, like, behind it. He is on the turret and he's shooting. You run down these steps and get off the steps. Otherwise, you're going to get hit, okay? Now, one of the best things about the axe... If you spin to win, it's really great. But when you one-hand as well, it's really great. Watch. I'm going to knock this thing down, right? And then I'm going to hit it again and I miss so that sucked but basically you can do that twice and if you do it twice you should kill like pretty much everything all right we need to put an item on you definitely want to have the antidotes on for this part and we're going to use one heal up and let's go ahead and grab that well we just got some more that's pretty cool there is an item over here we're going to grab this you're going to get a lot of shards here so be prepared and coming up here there is this really trolley area. So you want to kind of walk out and then walk away. Because, yeah, that will happen. And that does a lot of damage. So you want to try to be careful about that. Alright, so lure these guys inside so you don't get shot at. And then finish them off. And at this point, we can run out there. You can still be blown up. So be careful. Be very careful. In fact, I probably will be blown up. So grab that. And I'm blown up. See? I knew that was going to happen. Let's heal up. And let go. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and two-hand my axe. Oh, I messed that up really bad. Yeah, come get me. Ah, man, I really don't like these birds. I really don't like these birds. They're not hard, but they're really annoying with that flying crap. Die! Die! Alright, so there's an item over here. It's some more blood shards. Now, this is a little bit of a secret, but right here, before you go in the room, if you go over here, you can get... A pretty awesome item. These are really expensive, so yeah, pick them up. You get two fire paper. That will buff your weapon. Okay, there's going to be two enemies over here. These guys will sneak up behind you if you don't kill them now, so kill them as soon as possible. Oh, man. In fact, an easy way to kill them both, go ahead and two-hand your weapon and spin to win. If you do that, that should kill them both. All right, let's try this strategy again. I'm going to try to knock it down and then knock it down immediately again. See, that works really well. Go ahead and grab this. We got a gemstone. And now I'm going to get this item. Now this area out here, I would recommend killing these enemies because this area is really, really annoying. Watch out for your Gatling gun. What I recommend is to run down there, aggro the enemies, and then run away. And let them chase you. And deal with them in here so you don't get shot at. Oh man. Alright, it's only two of them, so that's not too bad. Come and get me. Now, what's nice about the torch is that it allows me to control the battle better. Because, obviously, if I didn't have it, they would both be attacking me. And that can be kind of bad. I hate the poison so much. But, yeah. If you have two or three enemies attacking you, it's always bad. So, it's kind of nice to avoid that. Oh, man. Alright, we can probably get shot at right here. But, I'm going to try to use a little bit of cover. There's another enemy out here. I'm going to back off. You don't want to be out in the open. So, he's dead now. Alright, now there's an item over here, but there's also enemies. So we're going to grab this. We're going to aggro enemies, but we're going to run for it, okay? So run down here. These guys should chase you down here, and the Gatling gun cannot hit you down here. So let them come. Hello! Oh, yeah. Come and get it. Ah, you did. Alright, now it's this guy. Why? Yeah, that's a little glitchy, because I have no light, and I don't know what he's doing. Now, I wonder if you use the hand lantern. It's another way of having light. I wonder if that would do it, too. All right, now, before you actually go up these ladders, we're going to go deal with this guy. This is the best strategy that I know of because this guy is really OP, and he will kick your ass. But equip your gun, okay? It really doesn't matter if you have a shotgun or a pistol. Just have a gun out, and we're going to climb up this ladder, get to the very top, and what's important is to lock on and dodge forward once. And then shoot him. Shoot him as many times as it takes. Just keep shooting. Don't stop. Don't heal. Don't do anything. Just dodge forward. Shoot him. Shoot him. And goodbye. 
Yeah, that's really awesome, guys. Now, the thing is, he drops a badge. So, I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to want to get that. But, don't panic, don't worry, you can still get it. If you reload the area, the badge should be up there, so you will not miss it. Now, I'm pretty sure you might be able to quit out and load it back in, and the badge will be up there, because that's the way it worked in Dark Souls. You could kick, like, this one NPC off, his name was, like, Law Track. You kick him off, then you quit out, load it back in, the item's right there at your feet. I think it's the same way, I'm not sure, I haven't tried that. But I do know if you reload the area, as in you leave and come back, it will be up there. And right now it's going to be just levitating, so that's awesome. Now there is an item you can get over here, but there's an NPC, and he's really annoying. In fact, he's so annoying that I would recommend running from him, because he's that annoying. Like, I really don't like this guy. And there's nothing in this area right here that you want, but there is something that you do want to get over here. So we're going to roll off right there, we're going to roll off here. Now there is a couple different ways you can deal with that NPC and make it really easy for yourself. If you have co-op, co-op makes everything easy because you just gank. I recommend actually spending to winning right there. But yeah, you can gank the crap out of them. You can actually use gravity on them and there's been a couple times where I've been able to glitch that guy. He's not supposed to be able to aggro in like certain parts and if you can get him to actually aggro, he will just stop moving. Like if he runs to like a, a spot that he's not supposed to be, he will stop moving. It's very strange, but yeah, that has happened to me a couple times. And it's awesome because then you just sit there and you just smack him until he dies and he will never attack you or nothing. All right, using the torch here would probably be a good idea. Because honestly, I need to spin to win. Ah, uh-oh, we're getting surrounded. Die, got him. All right, so we got a couple more of these guys right here. All right, that guy's dead. Now we just got the big one. Dad. See, it's very simple. Two-handing, one-handing, it doesn't make a big difference. But remember, with one-handing, you're going to not have as much range. The range is what makes the axe so great. Compare that to, like, the cleaver or compare that to the cane for sure. The cane actually does get good range when you transform it. It's just really weak. But you want some range when you're weak early on in the game. Later on, it won't really matter. Right there, we just got the Rifle Spear. That's a really cool weapon, and it's actually pretty good. I'm not going to use it, but you guys should definitely try it out, because it has um, some really cool moves on it, and it's a rifle and a spear. Alright, so we just got some new armor. I really like this armor. It looks cool, and it actually has some really good stats, so definitely equip it. It's the Charred Armor. Now, this is where the NPC is. I'm going to try something I'm going to try to give him some gravity, but it might not be what you're thinking because, yeah, of course, I could actually run to a ledge and try to shoot him off. Um, so that is something I can do. Like, for example, like, I'm going to run over here because he's going to be still over here. And, like, what I'm thinking, oh, God, he's still on me. That. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, that's right. We aggroed this thing. Screw you. Come get me. Urgh. Urgh. Okay. So, there's a ladder here. This is what I'm thinking, alright? I've really never tried this before, but this just came to me. If he chases me up this ladder, it's over for him. I don't think he will. Yeah, I don't I don't think he will. Will he? Yeah, I'm up the ladder, bro. Okay, I guess he will not, but you know what you could do? You can actually exploit this a little bit. Let's try to get an angle. Um, I'm trying to just get to a point where I can lock on. Uh, we need a better, a better, like, field of vision so we can throw crap at him. Let's walk over here. Oh, here we are, here we are. Oh, man, I'm gonna fall off. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I knew it. Oh, God, oh, God. Honestly, the easiest way to really deal with him, though, is to gun parry him. It's just really annoying. His gun's strong as well. There's one other thing we could do. Give him gravity over here. Honestly, like I said, there's really no point to fight this guy. Aww. Yeah, no, 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 get over here. See, I gotta get him in a stun lock. Without a fast weapon, it's hard to stun lock a guy like that. Alright, we're not gonna deal with him. He doesn't drop anything like fantastic, so we're just gonna go. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Anyway, so let's run over here. Heal up. Now, this room right here is one of the worst rooms in the area. Uh, there's an enemy up there that will drop down behind you, so be prepared. Just go ahead and kill it first. That's what I like to do. 
You're gonna die thing. Haha, <laughs> dead. Go ahead and pick that up. Now we have two more monsters. We're gonna spin to win. Hello! Oh man. Uh uh, do not grab me. If that thing grabs you, you're getting poisoned and it can be very bad. Oh, 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 oh. In fact, you are probably gonna get poisoned in this room because all the enemies here have poison. And they will probably poison you. Alright, so, you just got an item. Let's run over here. Be sure to always check out your gemstones. If you pick up like a whole bunch of gemstones, don't forget about them. Those are really, really good. So you want to take a look at them at your workbench. All right, over here we got another enemy. Oh no, don't grab me. Oh, he grabbed me. Oh my god, I'm going to get poisoned. Actually, that's not so bad. All that happens is that you get poisoned. Okay. Oh, dude, okay, yeah, that's bad. Oh god. Oh god, run away. See ya. All right, uh, well, it's only one guy. Whoa, I wonder if that hits you, what happens? Like, it looks like a grab. I'm, I've never actually seen that. Oh, oh god. Ugh. Doing a back dodge and then doing that running attack. Basically, you just press, like, circle and then you attack. That's a really good attack, by the way. It's kind of weak, though. Sometimes it hits really hard. Other times it hits really, really weak. Like, I've hit stuff for, like, 20 damage. You know, that really kind of scared me there for a second. I don't know if you guys can see that. But for a brief second, that that enemy I killed earlier, it's like dead body was like stuck on me, and it looked like it was like coming up behind me. Alright, let's use the torch. These guys should be afraid of the fire. Be afraid. If you can't tell, these guys are actually stronger than the normal ones, and they have poison on them. That is the reason why this room is so bad. Oh, screw you. But yeah, if you run up top, it's probably better because you can fight them one or two at a time instead of fighting ten at a time. Back off. Ah. You can do a lot of really great combos, by the way, with your R2s and your R1s. Like right there, I just did an R2 and then an R1. It's actually faster. Like if you do the R2, it's going to take longer to attack. But if you press R1 after the fact, you're going to immediately counter. So it's really nice. Same with, like, pretty much all R2s, including jumping attacks, so let's try that. In fact, any, like, elevation like that, you might be able to get a jumping, plunging attack. Those are amazing. Oh my god. You gotta watch out for that. You really don't want that attack to hit you, because you're gonna get poisoned. But, like I said before, best way to kill these things is to spin to win. So, let's go again. Get a better angle. Ah ha ha. Oh my god. Miss. Screw you. Alright, so we got one dead. This one's pretty much dead. And you are dead. Awesome. Now there's one more item that we want to go grab. Honestly, grabbing this item probably isn't worth it. Once we get it, I'll tell you if it's worth it. I don't even know what it is. It's probably going to be something stupid like some souls. I don't know. But we need to run back up top, and we can drop down and grab an item. Now, I had a friend, and I don't know if my friend was mistaken, or if he was just tripping, or maybe he was lying. I'm not too sure. But he told me that he was able to get over there. Now, you know, actually, actually, yeah, he wasn't lying. Huh. Okay, I've never been over there, because there's an item over there. He told me that he was able to get over there and get an item. And this is the first time i actually seen that item over there. Question is, how in the world would you get over there? Oh, there's an item up there, too. Hmm. Well, the way I'm looking at this, there's got to be a way to get up. Let's see. Treasure waits ahead. Yes, if you hop down, you can... Yeah, you can get a treasure, but... Clearly, you can get up there. And the question is... How in the world would you do that? You know what? Hmm. The only thing I can think of, because I've actually never got this, so I want to take the time real quick to figure this out. This would have been one of those items that I could have missed. I'm thinking what we have to do, we have to come over here and get up top or something. I'm not too sure. May oh, oh, look at this. Maybe it's the ladder? I'm assuming that, yeah, we can climb the ladder and get to somewhere. 
Because that's the only thing that makes sense to me at this point. I don't know, like, what else we could do. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at this. Okay, so this is how you get that stuff. You gotta hop down up here. Oh, my God, I can't believe I figured that out that quick. Anyway, um, we are, we are on the top part now, and I'm assuming we can walk across. Yep, there's an item up here, too. There's actually several items. Let's see if it's something good. If it's nothing, like, fantastic, then I would say don't worry about it. Because, I mean, this is straight-up gravity central right here. If you fall, you will die. So take your sweet time. All right, so we got a knowledge. That can be kind of worth it, I guess. Everybody wants more insight for co-op. Oh, my God. If I die to gravity, I'm going to be so mad. I hate gravity. All right, so, yeah, it looks like we can actually just hop off right here. How in the world did someone die when the platform's right down there? I have to take the time to see this real quick. I don't see the guy. Aw, he disappeared. Anyway, that's so funny. Like, how would you die? It's so easy just to hop off. Cocktails? Okay, well, there's another item. So far, this really isn't worth it. I'm just trying to see. And then we still have another item we need to go get. Um, that's lame. You know why? Because that means if I miss this jump, I ain't getting up there. Oh, man. All right, how do I want to go about doing this? See, this is this is tricky dicky right here. I'm going to run and turn, maybe? Oh, yeah. I'm the best. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, awesome. So, that's really not worth it, though. I mean, maybe it is if it looks cool, but what that was is that that is an item you can give to your messenger, and it will change the appearance of your notes and, I think, your tombstones. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, is it worth it? I don't know. You tell me. But, anyway, we're going to hop down now, and I've taken... Oh, my God, that looks like death. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, let's go. Good. We're alive. There's one more item we need to go get. I feel kind of bad because we have taken up a lot of time in this area. In fact, we might not be able to fight the boss in this episode. Just because the next area is actually going to take at least probably 10 minutes to complete. Anyway, it doesn't really matter all that much. We will fight it in the next episode. But there's one more item we can grab. We just need to walk off the ledge right here. And I believe you have to walk off again. And the item's right here. Let's see what this is. Yeah, this might not be worth it. Ah, it's a consumable, so yeah, it's probably worth it. Okay, now, there's actually an item in this room, though. And this is kind of hidden. Look ahead of me. There's an item right there. But yeah, it's easy to miss that. It kind of blends in. But you do want those ritual bloods. Those are very important for doing rituals. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be showing rituals or not, because there's a lot of them, and they take a long, long time, and some of them can be extremely frustrating and hard, but I guess it's worth it. The main thing that you get out of them that I've seen so far is you get a lot of really great gems. Oh my god. You get a lot of really good gems. So, like, when it comes down to gems, yeah, the rituals are the best way to, to go. In fact, I've gotten a lot of tier 5 gems which I believe are the highest level gems in the game and that is awesome so I would recommend doing rituals just to get the gems if anything you can also get like a weapon there that you can't get anywhere else and you can get an armor set or at least you can defeat a boss and then get an armor set and that's pretty cool too all right so this is going to be the second little area here and here is a shortcut so in our next episode, we don't have to do any of that again. We're just going to run past pretty much everything and go down a ladder. Now, this is actually really funny, but in the next episode, when I'm running past stuff, I'm going to try to show you guys something hilarious you can do when it comes to the enemies as you're running back. In fact, I will, if I can remember, this might not be guaranteed, I will try to go get that badge too because, yeah, we need to go grab that. And if I reload the area, we're good. Alright guys, well I'm going to end this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day. And peace out.